The flight was both successful and the mission achieved. All systems and aircraft units functioned flawlessly throughout. Achieved a three kilometer altitude along with minimum and maximum speeds with the crew having favorable comments about the aircraft. In the air, the machine proved itself, offering smooth control and well-functioning engines. It is resistant to all proven modes using sheet styling. The entire crew was satisfied with the flight. Domestic systems in flight have proven to be reliable and safe, assessed as an excellent analog of previously used systems and units. Now there is a reconstruction of any final assembly and in parallel the creation of the conveyor line. Coming. There are currently 24 aircraft in varying degrees of readiness and this is our firstborn from which it all begins and today we have started flight tests of serial aircraft. For us the new modification of the aircraft is not only Russian components inside the aircraft it is also a lot of work on the technical re-equipment of the enterprise to replace imported equipment which has worked out its resource with Russian equipment. There is a docking of the detachable part of the bed with the fuselage which is already produced here at the Russian docking stand. Now we are forming a batch of serial aircraft in order to ensure the delivery of aircraft to airlines in the shortest possible time after certification. Komsomolsk on Amur hosted the inaugural flight of the Sukhoi Superjet 100, also known as the SJ-100. This was the first aircraft built entirely with import-substituted technologies and produced in serial form. The achievement shows that production and technology have been successfully adjusted, with many foreign parts replaced by local ones. The aircraft proved its readiness for further certification and operation by staying in the air for about one hour. The import substituted SJ-100 aircraft numbered 9704 was produced at the production center of the regional aircraft branch of PJSC Yakovlev, part of UAC under Rostec State Corporation. It took off from the plant's airfield in Komsomolsk on Amur. The aircraft is equipped with Russian systems and components, including PD-8 engines, manufactured by the United Engine Corporation. The maiden flight lasted around an hour. The crew of the flight test complex from the regional aircraft branch carried out the test. It included test pilots Dmitry Savinin and Leonid Chikunov, as well as lead flight test engineer and onboard operator Vladislav Turin. According to Rostec, the parent holding, the first aircraft built using serial production technologies has taken to the skies. The certification process is still underway, but the aircraft has already been built in the target configuration intended for delivery. The aircraft received an updated, improved fuselage and dozens of new Russian systems and components. At present, 24 aircraft built under serial production are at various stages of completion. This confirms that Russia remains an aviation power capable of creating modern aircraft both with and without international cooperation. The most important modernization was the engine replacement. The new Superjet 100 is fitted with the latest PD-8 engines, designed and manufactured in Russia by UEC. Serial production of these engines is expected to start in 2025. They were developed using advanced Russian materials and technologies. Alongside the engines, the airframe structure was modified to integrate Russian systems and simplify both production and maintenance. The Komsomolsk on Amur aviation plant is responsible for serial production of the aircraft. The plant has modernized its equipment, installing domestic machine tools and new technological systems. One key upgrade was the installation of a fully Russian-made docking stand for superjet assembly. This has greatly improved the plant's technological independence. As evidence, 24 serial aircraft are currently in different stages of assembly. Although the certification process for the modernized superjet is still ongoing, 
the aircraft has already been produced in the final delivery configuration. This shows advanced technological maturity and demonstrates the Russian aviation industry's ability to operate independently of foreign partners. The result is a modern airliner built with maximum localization of production. The import substitution program required not only technical upgrades, but also a complete overhaul of the production cycle. More than 140 first-tier suppliers worked together during certification testing and preparation for serial production. This cooperation made it possible to start mass production and to build the first aircraft using fully serial technologies. Certification approval for the modified Superjet airframe was a major milestone. This approval, obtained in cooperation with aviation authorities and Rosaviatsia, allows production based on serial design documentation. It simplifies the technical foundation and reduces operating costs. According to chief designer Kirill Kuznetsov, such modifications were essential for integrating Russian systems and improving manufacturing and servicing efficiency. The next stage of the program will be the start of full serial production in 2026. The project has already proven that Russia can build modern aircraft both independently and through cooperation with international partners while using domestic technologies and components. This strengthens industrial sovereignty and supports the growth of civil aviation in changing economic and geopolitical conditions. The outcome of this extensive effort is more than just the modernization of an aircraft. It represents the creation of a full industrial foundation, the advancement of technological capability in domestic aviation, and a confident shift toward independent production of modern airliners. The complete import substitution of the Superjet 100 demonstrates the success of Russia's program for technological sovereignty. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.